WWE's Royal Rumble is Sunday, January 26th from Minute Maid Park in Houston. And we'll stream live on WWE Network. This is where the road to WrestleMania 36 begins. And that road ends in Tampa. A place familiar to this standout WWE superstar who is an NXT champion, an Intercontinental champion, a WWE Tag Team champion, and the pride of Scotland, Drew McIntyre. Thank you so much, Drew. Hey, Drew, the goal is to win the Royal Rumble and grab a top spot for WrestleMania Tampa. For you, how important is it to do that now in your career? I think it's extremely important. Um, and I think I'm in a, not just a good position, the best position I've ever been in in my career for that opportunity to win the Rumble and many been WrestleMania. And I think I've been ready for a long time for some big opportunities, but currently, I think the pieces are falling into place where I'm truly becoming the superstar that I always saw myself as and the company I always saw myself as. And it's perfect timing being WrestleMania season and the fact that WrestleMania is in Tampa. It's basically my hometown for the past 12 years. I'm currently talking to you from St. Petersburg, Florida. WrestleMania is about 20 minutes down the road. So I'm basically the hometown boy this year. Hey, speaking of that, do you have any food recommendations or restaurant recommendations for anybody from Scotland traveling to Tampa for WrestleMania? <laughs> oh, it's all good. <laughs> Here it's unbelievable. But these days I tend to eat my, my meal prep. Uh, every week I'm trying to stick to this day, but the wife's always getting me out to uh, the awesome Mexican places we have here and the awesome restaurants. And uh, just at our birthday there, we went to NDB, so I'll give up with them over for a second. That was... And Drew, hey, last year's WrestleMania, you had that really cool ring entrance. What could, what did that mean to you to have that and be a part of that? Oh, it's unreal. Like, I can't think the words how it feels walking out to WrestleMania with, you know, the Pipers playing with me. Uh, the funny story that I did, when I arrived at the building, I didn't know that was happening. So it was WrestleMania Day, obviously a pretty big event. I see a sign on the wall uh, saying, you know, Piper's room. And I was like, yeah, okay, Ronda must have pipers. Never even thought about it for about an hour. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute, I think Joan Jett singing Ronda out. What are the pipers are for? And it wasn't until about, you know, four hours before the show started. I was informed, all right, Drew, we have to, you know, get you out to meet the, the pipers. I went, oh, this for me. That's pretty cool. So it was a nice surprise on WrestleMania Day, late on WrestleMania Day. That was actually happening. And obviously the journey I've been through in my career, uh, with the ups and downs, etc., to come back to WWE, to come back to WrestleMania, to be facing Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, especially coming off his illness. And with that entrance, you know, that for that second I walked out, I thought every down, these ups and downs was worth it in this moment. Hey, with that, Drew, what advice would a Drew McIntyre today give a younger Drew McIntyre? I really don't know what I would say to myself because I wouldn't want to mess anything up. Yeah, every up and every down uh, has led me to be the man I am today and the performer I am today. Um, you know, meeting my wife, uh, that might not have happened and she could have helped shape the guy I am today as well outside the ring. So I really wouldn't tell him anything except, you know, keep the head, <laughs> don't lose your mind. Things are going to be fine no matter what. It's probably all it takes. I wouldn't want to screw anything up that led me to this point. Andrew, you entered this year's Royal Rumble match on Sunday from Houston. We could see it streaming live on WWE Network. What are your thoughts of this year's WrestleMania as far as the combatants that are involved? Do you see anybody as a big obstacle for you during that match? The Rumble, Brock Lesnar's in at number one. <laughs> He's the champion. That's a pretty big obstacle for the entire uh, entrance in the Royal Rumble. It doesn't get much bigger and better than him. But I'm absolutely salivating at the prospect of getting in with Brock for the first time since I've been back and mixing it up. I think he's been looking for somebody that could bring the fight to him. And I've just been dying for that opportunity to get in with him. So I hope we get the opportunity to get in there and mix it up. I plan to kick his big head off and check him out. But uh, obviously, there's a lot of people going in there with a lot of big goals. And uh, when you're in the rumble, it isn't exactly a bunch of nice, pretty moves. It's a lot of hard hitting. If you ever watch a Drew McIntyre match, that's my specialty. When Brock decided, hey, entering number one, what did you think of that move by him? Uh, I thought it was interesting and unique. Like, I love a good uh, hoop to get people watching our show. And obviously, Brock's one of our biggest attractions. And the fact they're putting him in number one as the champion is hopefully going to bring more eyeballs uh, to the Royal Rumble which in turn it means it gets to see the rest of our awesome superstars and hopefully also gets to see Drew versus Brock mixing it up out there. But no matter who's in there, I don't care. Like my plan 
that's the one thing too, though, Drew. You're like you're 34 years old. You still have a long career ahead of you as well if you remain healthy. What has it been like that journey so far? Uh, like I said, I've always said, it's crazy. I can't think of anybody that's had the kind of uh, career path that I've had. And everyone assumes I'm in my 40s now just because I have been around for a long time. I've been wrestling uh, next year, be 20 years. I've been wrestling, but yeah, it's just been, you know, insane. Like, there's a few times where um, I got a bit down on myself and I wasn't giving everything that I could during that first run. <clears throat> and it showed, I think, on TV. And then when I got released, it was the best that could ever happen to me because I finally started applying the lessons I learned. In WWE, I got to go home to Scotland a lot more and see, like, family and friends, which I never got to do for about eight years because obviously I was on the road. The entire time I had the opportunity to be a leader in multiple companies across the world. People believed in me, gave me the platform, and I was able to help grow those companies um, and really you know, find myself. And then when I got to come back to WWE and NXT, that was just a fantastic opportunity. I got to be champion there. I was so proud to be a leader there and then inevitably return to Raw, which was not always the plan. Um, and now I've been in a position where I think I'm finally putting those final few pieces together of being the real me um, and just in time for Wrestlemania season I think you know it's been a real wild journey that's going to make a real good book one day Drew McIntyre is a member of Monday Night Raw USA Network hey Drew if a superstar is going to be eliminated is it cool to be eliminated by DX Well, that's it. Ten years later, payback is on your mind if Triple H and HBK decide they're going to surprise enter the Royal Rumble. You're ready for that. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely love that, you know, especially the relationship we have these days. You know, uh, Hunter's the one that brought me back to WWE. We did the conversation with, um, on the phone that was set up by William Regal where I wasn't exactly sure what my next move would be. You know, my wife and I were thinking about Japan probably and we had the conversation and inevitably came back and when I was in NXT, Sean was there and really was a huge uh, part of my development. Like, no matter how good you, you think you are, how much you think you know, he's Shawn Michaels. So working with him was truly, you know, getting my PhD in wrestling. So just having that relationship with them both now, it'd feel even better to beat them up and throw them out as revenge for 10 years ago. WWE Royal Rumble is Sunday. You can see it live streaming on WWE Network. It's from Houston. Drew McIntyre, one of the top superstars in WWE. Thank you so much, Drew. And go Rangers FC! I'm right, go Rangers FC. We're back, finally, after all these years. Rangers are title contenders. Just like Drew McIntyre, we're very similar careers. They were down for a while. I was down for a while. We both rose at the same time. They're about to win the title, and hopefully I am too. Yes! Appreciate it, Drew. Thanks.